the Kingsman as well. The Kingsman have asked me to make a special announcement to kind of squeeze together if you could. So if you can squeeze together, there's still a big line outside trying to make it into the grandstand. Squeeze together. It's a good problem to have. You know, speaking of the Kingsman, right now we're going to pay tribute to a Kingsman member that we lost here recently. We're going to take just a moment of your time to do so. Our Kingsman president, Brian DeMaria, is leading our rivalrous horse, and that is a symbol of the Western lifestyle, and somebody is missing. Well, today, we happen to be missing our friend, Bill DeFrance. Bill was a member of the Kingsman for a good five years. But one thing that is noticeably different about Bill is he lived a long and colorful history. He was a Route 66 club member, in addition to being a Kingsman. He was also part of the Corvette Club here in Kingman. He lived life to the fullest. And no matter what was dealt his way, he always attracted it with a smile and it head on. Well, 10 years ago, he came to Kingman to retire. And he fell in love with the sunsets. So here today, with that riderless horse, we're making one last ride off into the sunset with our friend Bill, Bill DePriest. Yeah, Looks had a chance to talk to the family member. And had so much good things yeah. to say about yeah. Bill. Okay, Most of all, um, yeah. is to live your life to the fullest. Never take tomorrow for granted. And that's a lesson that we all learn. So friends, instead of being sorrow about the passing of Bill DePriest, we're going to do something a little different. I want everybody to cheer for Bill. Because today, Bill happens to have family members with us. Bill, you touched so many lives in your short time here and keep it as part of the King's Village. But you're truly missed. So friends, how about one ride into the sunset with our friend, Bill the Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to do that. Just like every time we come to keep it for a rodeo, unfortunately, we have that rattleless horse. Thank you to the Kingsmen for all the hard work that they do to bring us two rodeos every single year here to the Mojave County Fairgrounds and the Anderson Ford Arena. Thank you, Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to introduce to you some of the visiting royalty that we have joining us for our rodeo here today. We're going to start with the 2023 U.S. Silver Spur Rodeo. Their queen is Brianna Hicks. Hello, Brianna. Also representing the U.S. Silver Spur Rodeo is their team queen, Riley Cox. They invite you to you, Arizona, in February for great pro rodeo. The Red Sea Lutz Creek Pro Rodeo queen is Ashley Jover. Say hello to Jasmine Sutton. The Red Sea Lutz A lady, he's a great rodeo entertainer. Everybody, say hello to Bobby Weir. Woo! How are you today? We only got one question. Are you ready to have a little fun? Come on a Saturday afternoon. Oh, man, I had so much fun last night, man. 
Oh, it's How many fun did you have? It's the guy with the horrible shopping. jokes. You went shopping last night? Yep, I went shopping and I picked up me a 12 pack of beer and I put it inside my car. Okay. My wife took it out. Really? She said, we're on a budget, honey. We can't afford that. Well, we're driving on down pretty soon. I see she puts mascara, hair spray, lipstick, rouge, all this stuff in the basket. Yep. So I start taking it out. She turns around and looks and she says, honey, where is all of that makeup? I said, well, honey, remember, we're on a budget. We can't afford it. She says, but honey, the makeup, the lipstick, the eyeshadow, that is for me to look pretty for you. I said, honey, that's what the 12 pack of beers for. <laughs> oh no, you are in trouble. It is the big guys that we go to next. We say thank you to the Dan Bar Steakhouse, the lunch and dinner specials. It is Kingman's Landmark Steakhouse. If you have not been to the Dan Bar Steakhouse, you need to make sure you do so while you're here in Kingman. Great place to eat, great atmosphere, and truly a landmark here in Kingman. Thank you to the Dan Bar Steakhouse. Bringing us the big guy in the steer wrestling here tonight. And the way it all unfolds, we just have one steer wrestler to show you. It's Dolph Berger from Wickenburg, Arizona. For bottle longer nations, we had a few more, but due to traveling conflicts and other life emergencies, they were unable to make it. But Dolph Berger, he's originally from Douglas, Wyoming. He's a Mountain State Circuit finalist in the ranks of the PRCA. That's the best in Colorado and Wyoming. He is a guy that has won a lot of money down here in the Grand Canyon Rodeo. As a matter of fact, he won both days of the Yavapai County Fair and Rodeo in Prescott just a few short weeks ago. What a check in Hole Brook, and the time to beat right now in the steer wrestling is 4.6. Ray Nargang, and this guy has the full pick. Come on, Dalton. Good job. Good job. Good job. It's going to be a time for the number one spot, 4.6 seconds. 4.6. Good steering. Don't put people in there twice. Don't put them in there twice. I think they corrected 4.7 is official time. 4.7. So, Don, you're still going to time for first with Trey Nargate, but then you're going to time for the guy right there in McLean Arbio. So, 4.6. Seven, the pay window in the steer wrestling. We say thank you to Automobile okay, Consulting okay. Services. No answer for buying. They bring us our time to get side of the arena. So thank you to the Dan Bar Steakhouse for bringing us our big guy in the steer wrestling. Well, we get ready to head back down to the bucket chute. So we're going to say thank you to Browns Drilling. They bring us our next event, Brown's Drilling's your water well drilling specialist. And they bring us everybody's favorite event. It happens in the bucket shoots. Do we have any mother busting fans? Come on, man. Yeah, baby. I'm sure, yeah, I was just switching spots here. We need that dog tranquilizer, I think. <laughs> Jerry will have the microphone. He's in charge of the judging duties. Trotter's RV is the bucket sheet to look at. Bennett Buchanan's going to be first to ride. Here goes Bennett. She's <laughs> old on him, walked on him, come back over the top on him. How about 82 points on their ride? 82. Way to start it, Bennett. To Brady Buchanan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got to another one. I just missed it. They just let these guys run around again. Brittley Stinson's going to be next. An 82 and an 81. He goes Brittley. Come on, let's go power. 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 Oh, man, he's starting right. How about 70? Everett Rogers. All right, Everett. Everett. Hey, Everett. Good job, Everett. 
78 points. It's a win. Are you happy? I think my phone's gonna go into meltdown mode. Do you want to give me another sheet? <laughs> he said not today. Please tell me that's not real.
Looks like about a three-year-old girl. Four-year-old girl, maybe. Okay. I need my two winners. 82 points. You gotta come out here. Bennett Buchanan and Johnny Holland. Bennett and Johnny, come here, buddy. So we're gonna hold up the rodeo. Hey, where's the other guy? Where's you, Ty? Where's where they at? I'm just gonna try it. All right, is that Bennett? Is that Johnny? This is Johnny. All right, we need Bennett. Are you Bennett? Bennett, you better get out there. They're waiting for you. Bennett, over here. Come on. Bennett, is that you? Come on, Bennett, hurry up. We gotta decide what we're gonna do. Hurry. Run out of here. Now this guy says he's Bennett. Little Johnny says I'm alright, man. We're going to have to figure out which Bennett you're talking about. Bennett Buchanan. Alright. What's your name? Johnny? This We got Johnny. Hey. What's your name? Bennett? You guys are tied. In the rodeo deal, we do ride-offs. You guys ready for our sheep ride-off? No. Are you ready for a sheep ride off? See? We gotta decide what we're gonna do. He wants to ride off. You don't want to? You sure? Poor kid was probably all busted up, you know. He probably was like, I don't want to, I don't want to jump on another wild animal.
Taken out by the rope. Oh, and then the camp's gonna kick three. Oh, there's like something down there. Well, it's all about excitement, isn't it? Folks, do me a favor and pay off Mr. Jim Grant. Everybody in the Cowboy Church in Mojave County 
I do have my flannel, but it's at the beef jerky tent. How much are the pies? Six fifty. They are six fifty. Uh, are you? What time are you here till? Until I sell out. All right. So I was gonna say, damn it. So it's not like I can pay for it and then come back in like an hour. If I'm still here. I know. I know. I just don't want to carry it around with me. I have a bag. I can give you a bag. I know. I just got a lot of shit. Yeah, I will buy this from yeah. you. Yeah. This is all homemade from scratch too, or what? Everything's homemade. Yeah. One hundred percent from scratch. Yeah, we're doing that. That's okay, that could go anyway. It's my last cake. See how thick it is? Yeah. That is like a cake. Cake, cake. There's your free bag. And here's my card. Where are you going, Nick Kingman? I am. I actually do this out of my home. And uh, I sweet, sweet teas, huh? yeah. Right, and I right, mostly right. go to like oh. farmers markets and and uh, do events like this. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get you some change. Uh, you can just give me four back, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Enjoy. Yeah, I read it. Thank you. Thank you. Also, 
Yeah, thank you. Alright. Yeah, that does look fucking delicious, right? Well, it's mine now, motherfuckers. It'll be my little support for the local shit, you know? It's, it's so hot right now, I need to cool down. Uh, I think they give them away. Yeah, I gotta go find somewhere to go smoke. Hold on a second here.
Sorry, I'm going to go check out to see what's going on. But My good spot from before is a gowner. Wisconsin. Let's ride with Ansley Biscale. What am I looking at? Final steer rider to go to try to win it all. This guy's got to move his ass, I think. I think he needs some motivation, Bob. How are you going to give him some motivation? Everybody on the count of three, what's her name? Ansley. Everybody holler Ansley. One, two, three. Oh, I'm right, Ansley. Ansley. Like 
Kingsley has decided against it, a career change for her, which is all right. And that means we're going to wrap up the steer riding. We say a big thanks to Stephen Plaza for bringing us that fun event. Also, we say thank you to Holy Customs for the KARV site with the Boston Ruffles. Our Ruffles going to go to Lifestyle Twitter. So do me a favor and pay off the next generation of great movies. Super duper bank, I don't know. I did not know that. Yeah, it's up there off the Stockton Hills, up there in the hill. Really? Somebody got crazy and wrecked through the fence at the nudist colony, knocked the big hole in. Really? Yeah, the police are looking into it now. I bet they are. I bet they are. All right, in the lead of the breakaway rope, it is 2.2 seconds. Tatum Schaefer is in the lead of the rodeo. From there, we go to 2.3, 2.6, and a 2.8. Timmy Hutchings is going to be our first. Breakaway Rover of the afternoon. Let's get a big bank of Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware making some major improvements to their store, to their inventory. Make sure to stop by all of your home needs. It is Ace Hardware. Our place to shop for choice. Say thanks to the Kingman City of Kingman Office and Tourism and the Best Western and our ticket sponsors. And of course, make sure to stick around for the big dance tonight and great special live music by Matt Ferris. Mayor's next committee is ready. Put together a great dance floor to include your dancers. All happens right here at the fairgrounds. Yeah. Teams need to make sure things are just right before they release that camp out. So you gotta hear me chopping on this beef jerky, bud. Those horses in the back corner of the box, so they can see that calf exit the shoe. It's all about getting the right start. Think about 2.2 seconds to have your work job done. A little way off of that barrier. Oh, okay. for Timmy Hutching. I know. I only got a little bit left, so. But White Hills. Oh, he drops his rope. Everybody say, oh. Aw. So the 2-8 goes to 12-8. 12 Hey, bird. Bunch of burbs. Yep, half a stiff. That was close. Let's go to the birthday girl. This is Johnny Perry. They must just let him run free. They just they just rope it and let it go. It's gonna bring us to Whitney Slack from Wickenburg. It's cow girls. This happens to be one of the fastest growing events in Romeo. We say a big thanks to Jessica Ty all the way from 
Jessica Ty. Sunset for the dance and stuff will be pretty dope, I bet. Here we go, Jessica. Gets it done. 3.9 seconds, 3.9. Johnny, right over there, they have a birthday present for you. Sounds sweet sad, huh? Good job. Ariana Stegall's next. Stegall's have made some money here today. She's ready. These guys look like they're getting whacked and loaded in actual shoots, though. Payton was a money earner at the Yavapai County Fair and Rodeo with a 3.8 second run just a few short weeks ago. A little gray, a little gray at the rodeo. Still Ray Day. goes away it'll be nice. <laughs> they do look nice around here. 
Once the sun goes away, it'll be real nice. It's just hot right now. Here we go, here we go. What's up, Cal? 3.6 seconds, 3.6. So as we drop See that? I just made him come over by me. <laughs> Weird clown dude again, you know it. It's the guy with like the cheesiest jokes ever. Wait. One second here. racing next I think so I kind of want to charge my shit up I wonder how long I've been on for probably like an hour I might even make this a two-parter I don't know yeah I think I'm gonna make this shit a two-parter here what do we got here how do I What am I doing here? Flip it. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna make this thing a friggin' two-parter. Um, yeah, it's too hot. I'm gonna charge this shit up. We'll be back. Check back in. Check out whatever's going on. Set your notifications. Deuces, as always. Peace.